Often there is one common issue with scrapers. They can be blocked. The site that you are scraping has added your IP to a blacklist and you don't know whether it is a temporal block or a permanent one. Such issues can be resolved with a proxy server. Using proxies and rotating IPs can prevent us from being detected as a scraper. The idea of using different IP addresses while scraping is to make your scraper look like real users accessing the website from different multiple locations. If you implement it right, you drastically reduce the chances of being blocked. So let's see how it works. Class Browser, which we use to make concurrent HTTP requests, is very flexible. You can specify different connection settings, like DNS resolution, TSL, timeouts and of course proxies. All these settings are configured within an instance of connector. Class Connector accepts a loop and then a configuration array. For example, if we want to use Google DNS, we can specify DNS option. Now the browser will start using Google to resolve hosts. Before we start using proxy, we need to pull a package called ReactPHP SOX. This library provides SOX proxy implementation for ReactPHP. The package has implementations for both server and client. In our case, we need a client. It will be used to connect to a proxy server. Create a client and provide an address for the proxy server. Something random for now and an instance of the connector. Create an empty connector here with no configuration. Let's input class name. Name client can confuse you that there is one more HTTP client in our code. But it is not the same thing as browser. It doesn't send requests. Consider it as a connection, not a client. The main purpose of it is to establish a connection to a proxy server. Then the real client, the browser, will use this connection to perform requests. To make things explicit, we can add an alias, SOX client. Then to use this proxy connection, we need to update a connector and specify TCP option. And remove DNS option, we don't need it. Ok, now we need a working proxy. I will use a Tor browser as a proxy server. I connect to localhost and its port number is 9150. Now run the script. And it works. We have two downloaded images here. The scraper now works via the proxy. When working with proxies, we always should keep in mind that they might not work. To emulate a broken proxy, we can specify some random port here. Now clear downloads folder and run the scraper again. It silently finishes, but nothing has been scraped. It is obvious that we should have some errors, but we are ignoring them. So we need to know when something bad happened. Let's fix it. Open the scraper. We have a chain of promises here. Extract data from HTML, then download an image and then store data into the database. The problem is that we don't have any error handling here. When a promise in the chain fails, the control jumps to the closest rejection handler down the chain. And what happens if we simply forget to add this handler? Exactly, the failed promise will be ignored and any thrown exceptions will disappear in the void. To fix it, add an otherwise block. Provide a function with an exception. If one of our scraping steps fails, this function will be invoked with a thrown exception. Let's just log the message. Now run the scraper. Yes, now we see the actual error. The scraper can't connect to the proxy server. A log of errors can be very useful. For example, in addition to the fact that we can track dead proxies, we can also detect whether we are banned or not. Ok, using one single IP address is not very useful. Actually, it doesn't hide our scraper. What we really want is rotating different IPs, where each request has its own one. In our code, 
It means that each request requires its own configured browser object with already predefined proxy. But our design doesn't allow it. The scraper receives its dependencies with already injected browser objects. We can solve this problem dynamically creating a scraper for each request and hide all this logic behind facade. Create a new class scraper via proxy. It will be our facade. The constructor accepts an event loop, a directory for storing downloads and a list of proxies. Then we are going to build a scraper using a random proxy from the list. Copy this logic and paste it here. Input class names and fix variables. For Sox client, we will create its own method. And return statement here. Create method for proxy client. Here we select a random proxy and then use it to create a SOX client. Again copy and paste some code. Replace a hard-coded address. We have an alias here. Let's also copy it. And add a return type hint. OK, now the public method scrape. We accept a list of URLs, loop through them, and for each URL we create a scraper with a random proxy and use it to scrape data from this URL. Done. Now move back to the main script and create an instance of our facade. A loop, downloads directory and a list of proxies. For testing I will use a list of one Tor browser proxy. Remove everything here and run the script. Great, the files were downloaded. Now our scraper has become much better. It can use proxy servers to pretend being real users accessing the website from different multiple locations. And it also has error handling, so we can see and react when something went wrong.